Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, day after the tournament. I'm still up here in uh, Lake Nipissing. Well, the township of West Nipissing, technically. Stayed here with Mike in his cottage for an extra day. We're doing a little bit of fishing. I'm actually just gonna fish for like four hours and then head home. Starting off the morning with a small smallie. I ran out of uh, SD card. So I'm not going to fish the whole experience, I'm just going to be turning the camera on and off here and there. I only have about two hours of recording time on this SD card, but uh, it's going to be a great time. If you're fishing with the boys, i got Alex, I have uh, Mark, of course Mr. Mike Summerton here with me. Let's enjoy this uh, three hours of fishing. Cheers guys. Biting. I've fished around this whole island. I'm gonna go for the next one. It's release her. Keep on going. Another one on the hook. I'm not used to this like turning on the camera every time I hook on a fish. I'm so used to it like, continuously recording. You know what? It's not even that big, but it's just fighting pretty hard. I mean, I am working on a medium light spinning rod, so. But he is digging. This is a little 13 incher. Put on a good fight. This is a lot of fun. Yesterday was my first time using a Juvie Crow on a car. Really nice. Really, really nice small weight. Pretty good lure. I'm really happy with this lure. You see these fishing shows all the time, like iCast and whatever, where they release a lot of new products. And sometimes you look, there's not, like nothing that really stands out. I remember when I saw the Great Lakes finesse and I saw this Juby Crawl. I, I said to myself, "This is a lure that's gonna, it's gonna be money." And it's working really good. Pretty good hookup ratio. So you can expose the hook like that. You can leave it exposed. I, I like to leave it exposed. I never really expose. Or I never really use any lead guards or anything. So it's working pretty good. Keep on fishing. I mean another one on the hook. Shallow. Small smallies are sitting really shallow. I haven't caught any big ones yet. Hopefully, bump into a big one soon. Oh, the cookie cutters over here. They're cruising around, so decided to work my, of course, juvie crop. And she's good. Let's give her a release. It's only one pincher left. It's all worn out. The plastic is all worn out. It's all gray. It's still working. Fish this area here where 
bass is open all year, not all year round. It opened this weekend actually. But not far from here is the other zone that it opens all year round. It's another 16 incher. Pretty cool. Now, you know, as, as Canadians, bed fishing is very foreign to us. It's almost very frowned upon too. Since the water is so tannic, it's sometimes hard to see the beds and it's windy, right? But when you see it, when you see the little discoloration in the ground, throw the craw at it, you're probably gonna catch one. Come on. Another one. They're really liking this craw. I'm really liking this craw. Everybody, we made it back to the cottage. We had a successful day of fishing. Mike took us to one of his little secret lakes. Got a lot of fish. I'm telling you that Juvie Craw from Great Lakes Finesse is a thing of beauty. Thanks for tuning into this video. I know it was a little unconventional. I usually record the whole thing. Today I was just pressing play when I catch a fish because I didn't have enough of the secret. And Alex looks like a ninja. <laughs> the bugs are crazy. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.